Hi, welcome back to machine learning tutorial. In this video, we will understand how to find the entropy, information gain, gain in terms of uh, Gini index, based on the information gain and the gain in Gini index, how to select a splitting attribute. In this case, we have been given a data set with uh, 10 examples. A and B are the two attributes and there are two class labels. One is positive and another one is negative in this case. So first we will try to identify the entropy and then the information gain here. So uh, to find the entropy, first we will try to write the contingency table here. The contingency table looks uh, something like this. Uh, rows uh, con contains uh, the class labels and the column contains the possible values for that particular attribute. So in this case you can see here, there are two class labels are there. One is positive and uh, one more is uh, negative and uh, the possible values for a is one is true another one is false so first we need to know how many uh, positive examples are there where a is equal to true so if you see here one two three four five six seven seven uh, uh, true examples are there out of that one two three and four are positive uh, one two and three are negative here so that is what is written in this case four are positive and three are negative in this case when a is equal to false, how many positive are there? We need to check it out. So first of all, uh, there are three uh, false examples are there. One, two, three. All three are false, uh, negative examples only. So zero positive examples and three uh, negative examples in this case. Similarly, we need to write the contingency table for the B also. Uh, again, uh, plus and minus are the class labels. B is equal to true and B is equal to false. These are the two possible cases here. Uh, there are totally 1, 2, 3, 4 true examples are there. Out of that 1, 2, 3 are uh, positive and 1 is negative. So 3 are positive, 1 is negative. Uh, remaining 6 are the false examples. Out of that uh, you can see here, uh, the first one is uh, positive, second is negative, third is negative, fourth is negative, fifth is negative and sixth is negative. So only one positive and the remaining uh, 5 are negative examples in this case. So first we need to write this contingency table. Using that we can easily write or calculate entropy and information gain. Now first we calculate the entropy of a whole data set. So entropy equation is known to us that is entropy of S is equal to minus summation of PI log PI to the base 2 here where PI is the probability of ith class. So probability of class plus we need to calculate and probability of class uh, negative we need to calculate so probability of positive is that is uh, 1 2 3 4 4 examples are there so probability of positive that is uh, p plus you can say that is equal to 4 divided by 10 which is equal to 0.4 similarly uh, probability of minus which is equal to 6 examples are there so 6 divided by 10 which is equal to 0.6 in this case so if you put this particular things in this equation, the equation will become something like this. The entropy of original or uh, whole data set is equal to minus 0.4 log 0.4 to the base 2 here and uh, minus 0.6 log 0.6 to the base 2 here. So this is how actually the equation will become and uh, this is the entropy of whole data set here. So everywhere we have logarithm to the base 2. That is the one thing you can remember. Now uh, once you calculate the entropy of whole data set, uh, if you want to calculate the information gain of uh, either A or B, first we need to calculate the entropy of individual uh, uh, possible values. Okay, so if A has two possibilities, that is uh, true and false. So the entropy of true and entropy of false we need to calculate. Similarly for B also, that is entropy of true and false we need to calculate. Then only we can calculate the information gain of A and B here. So the entropy of uh, A were true examples. So only we need to consider the true examples. So how many true examples are there? That is what you can get it from this particular table. So there are seven true examples are there. Out of that, how many are positive and how many are negative? So four positive and three negative. So this equation, the entropy equation will become minus four by seven log four by seven to the base two minus 3 by 7 log 3 by 7 to the base 2 because uh, 4 are positive examples and 3 are negative examples. Once you solve it, you will get this particular answer here. Similarly, uh, entropy of A is equal to false. So how many false examples are there? 
there are you can say that uh, three false examples are there and all of them are negative examples so minus 3 by 3 log 3 by 3 minus 0 by 3 log 0 by 3 and it is also to the base 2 that is the one more thing you can remember here and uh, if it, if you solve this equation you will get the entropy is equal to 0 in this case now finally the gain that's the information gain is always equal to the entropy of whole data set minus the proportionate of the true examples multiplied by entropy of true examples minus proportionate of false examples multiplied by entropy of false examples so what is the proportionate of uh, true examples so totally seven examples are there out of 10 multiplied by its entropy that is 0 0.9852 minus proportionate of false examples that is 3 by 10 multiplied by its uh, entropy that is 0 if you put all the values and solve it you will get the entropy sorry that is uh, the information gain of uh, a is 0.2813 in this case similarly we need to find the information gain of b also so here uh, we have already written this particular contingency table and then uh, we have already calculated the entropy of whole data set now we need to calculate the entropy of uh, possible values of b that is uh, true and false entropy of b is equal to true which is equal to you can see here b is equal to true we have four examples out of that three are positive one is negative so 3 by 4 log 3 by 4 minus 1 by 4 log 1 by 4 everywhere as i said earlier it should be log to the base 2 in this case now we will get the answer as 0 0.8113 in this case similarly we need to find the entropy of b is equal to false uh, we have six examples so out of six one is positive five are negative here so one by six log one by six and uh, five by six log one by six five by six here and if you solve it again you will get this particular thing remember this should be two now uh, once you calculate this particular uh, entropy uh, of individual possible values the gain of uh, b is equal to the entropy of uh, whole data set minus the proportionate of true examples multiplied by entropy of true example minus uh, proportionate of uh, false examples entropy of false examples so there are four uh, true examples are there the proportionate will become uh, 4 by 10 there are six uh, false examples are there the proportion is equal to 6 by 10 and uh, if you put all the values and get uh, the answer this is the final the uh, information gain of b here uh, the information gain of uh, a is 0.28 and the information gain of uh, B is 0.25 uh, the information gain of A is more hence the splitting attribute in this case will be A here so this is uh, with respect to information gain now uh, we will try to identify how to calculate uh, uh, the gain in terms of Gini index for that reason first we need to uh, find what is the Gini and then we need to find uh, the gain in terms of Gini. So first, uh, the Gini is always equal to 1 minus uh, summation of uh, Pi square, where Pi is the probability of ith class. So probability of uh, class uh, plus probability of class minus in this case. That is, uh, Gini is equal to 1 minus probability of uh, plus is, that is 4 by 10, which is equal to 0.4 bracket square minus probability of minus that is uh, 6 by 10 that is 0 0.6 bracket square here which is equal to 0.48 so this is the uh, original Gini now what we need to do is uh, we need to calculate the gain in terms of Gini here so how can we calculate that one is uh, uh, to calculate gain in terms of uh, Gini first we need to calculate the Gini of individual possible values and then we can calculate the gain in terms of Gini so the Gini when A is equal to true that is how many number of times uh, this particular uh, true examples are there uh, within that how many positive and how many negative so that is the question here so if you just go back and see here there are seven examples are there out of that four are positive and three are negative in this case okay so if you just go to this particular thing one minus 4 by 7 bracket square minus 3 by 7 bracket square because 4 by 7 is the probability of uh, you can say that uh, uh, the positive examples and 3 by 7 is the probability of negative examples in this case 
similarly uh, Gini when a is equal to false we just go back and see here there are uh, three examples are there all of them are negative in this case so 1 minus 3 by 3 bracket square minus 0 by 3 bracket square here so we will get uh, the Gini when a is equal to true is 0 0.4898 and the Gini when a is equal to false is 0 and the gain of this particular uh, a is the original Gini minus proportionate of uh, you can say that uh, pos uh, true examples multiplied by Gini of true examples minus proportionate of uh, false examples multiplied by Gini of uh, false examples here and uh, if you put all these things you will get the answer as a point one three seven one here similarly we will do it for the attribute b also that is uh, Gini of uh, b is equal to true that is uh, b is equal to true which is equal to 1 minus 1 minus uh, how many number of times positive examples are there how many the negative examples that's a uh, probability so just go back and see here totally four examples are there out of that uh, three are positive and one is a uh, negative so three by four uh, bracket square that's the one option and one by four is the bracket square is the one more option and uh, the Gini of B is equal to true is equal to 0 0.3750 similarly uh, Gini of B is equal to false so how many are there there are uh, six examples are there out of that one is positive and uh, five are negative here so you can say that 1 minus 1 minus 6 bracket square minus 5 by 6 bracket square here and the answer is 0 0.2778 finally the gain in terms of Gini is uh, original Gini minus proportionate of uh, true examples multiplied by Gini of true examples minus proportionate of false examples multiplied by uh, the Gini of uh, false examples here so proportionate of uh, true examples is 4 by 10 that is uh, there are 4 examples are there out of 10 and proportionate of false examples is 6 by 10 because 6 examples are there out of 10 here so put those particular things you will get the gain in terms of uh, Gini is 0.1633 here now if you compare these two that is the uh, gain of A and gain of B the gain of B is more here hence you can say that B is the best splitting attribute in this case so this is the uh, simplest process with which you can calculate the entropy information gain gain in terms of uh, uh, the Gini and uh, based on those two things you can select the splitting attribute over here i hope the concept is clear if you have any other questions you can put those questions in the comment box so that i can answer those questions as early as possible if you like the video do like and share the video with your friends press the subscribe button for more videos press the bell icon for regular updates thank you for watching